there, we are Claire and Nick Butcher and we've been together for over 20 years. We used to live in Wiltshire in the UK, with Nick having a background in bathroom sales and myself in hospitality and catering. In 2020, we decided to leave the daily grind to start a new life in France. Eventually, we ended up buying this. It's not officially a chateau, even though the village locals call it one. However, it is just as large and equally as much hard work as a chateau. With a horde of original features and the building having been unoccupied for many years, we are slowly breathing life back into her, whilst frequently still finding the many treasures she holds. Join us on our journey with our dogs, Flora and Merlo, as we renovate our Maison de Maitre. So we've got all the patio slabs sitting in the central sort of courtyard area here. Um, that's not where they need to be. So it's going to be one of those hard and boring days where I take them through to the back garden and that little journey will take me through here, through here and then well a lot need to go down the end there and then there will need to be a lot through here. So Well, a bit of equipment failure. The trolley or the flat tyre is now almost completely off the trolley. So that's not gonna work anymore. The wheelbarrow, well, not really quite the right size for these slabs. So I can't really put too many in there and I think I'm probably gonna damage them. So I think I'm gonna do this manually. Just lift them a pair at a time through to the back. Anyway, you may have spotted I'm taking from different pallets. The next ones I'm going to take are from the back pallets there. Um, being advised, obviously, during the production run, colours may start shifting. Um, so it's sensible to take them from different pallets, mix them all together so there's no noticeable area that's a slightly different shade to anywhere else. just enjoying a little sit down and uh, my brain started going and uh, how much do these weigh? Mm. So I just weighed one of them at 14 kilos and uh, well I've got the other half pallet to move now and when I finish that that will be a total of just under three tons of, of paving slabs I'll have moved today. So there we have it, the five different pallets worth of slabs there and then the load down that end. So we're going to be doing that end of the pool first, um, probably going to be a couple of days till we get on with that, wait for a few days, the weather due to cool down a bit because it's too hot to work in this today. center line and marked it and continued it down here so I have a line 
straight line down the middle of the pool where everything's going to be based around. And the first job I'm going to do, I've got some cardboard and I'm going to work to cut little templates so when I come to cut these stones here, I'll get it right. for the first couple of slabs that is the line I want to cut them right well that's where they're going to sit they seem to fit quite well um, maybe those two and a, another couple laid Made a start. Um, the temperatures have just gone a bit mad. It's over 30 degrees now, so I'm calling it a day. It's too hot to work out here, but that's a good start. They're all spot on. I'm happy with how they've gone down. After after last week and having family here and being really busy, I kind of fell behind a little bit on some of the domestic chores. It looks like uh, a war zone in our kitchen and the washing is mounting up. I also want to try and sort out some of the garden today where things are getting a little bit overgrown um, and get some stuff planted. So yeah. Bit of a late start, had a little bit of sleep in. <sighs> Here goes. Well, thankfully this morning it's a, a grey start. It's cooled down significantly, which is good for now. Um, I've got a mix going and, uh, yeah, ready to lay some more slabs at the end of the pool. Whee! never came out today but I'm really happy about that um, so to show you now what I've got up to so I've got to do the, the bit down either side and something at the end but Right, well, restful night's sleep, raring to go. So, quite pleased with the progress made so far. Now, at this end, I've just got a couple of bits like that to, to cut out, and then I can get down the edge at either side of this particular patio done. Um, and then it will be ready for all the grouting to be done.
coming. Nana. Nana again. Stand on them. Uh, say again. It looks very good. He's coming along. <laughs> Praise indeed, as you well know, from Monsieur Le Patio. Ah. Well, a couple of hours of work this morning and I've now done the final edging rows either side of this. So for now, all the slabs are down. Once I get the, the pointing, the grouting done, um, that is pretty much finished. Right. Whilst that end down there, just a little small area at the end of where the steps are, this is going to be a much larger uh, paved area. But as you can see, father-in-law has come along to, to help me today. Um, I think the first thing we're doing is apparently fitting a couple of temporary slabs to then get a line to work everything off. Something like that. So we'll see how it goes. Hi to Nova Scotia, you were good people. When we've still got a lousy football team though. my uh, patio expert is just finishing off that and now we're off for a spot of lunch and we'll come back and start again. I've said I prefer this on the underneath, but there we go. Yeah, well. There you go. Um, that, look at that. Look at that joint there. What more do you want? Well, level. Okay. <clears throat> it's more the height of it than... It's not high. There's a... Where's your hand? Give me that. Where? Give me that. Yeah, oh, did you stick it up your book jacket? There. <laughs> That's all. Not asking for, you know... There's some, I'm going there's, some, there's something that people with limited vision might not trip up over. Um, right, well, just thought I'd update you and show you what we've done. Yeah, almost three rows this way and then one across at the end there, so quite a good start. Almost, almost the same kind of productivity as when I'm working on my own. But look, a really good start to this patio. He's been doing a lot of that today. It's almost like he thinks it's finished and it's like time to enjoy sitting down all day. Hello. It's wakey wakey time. Come on, Flora, it's time to get out of bed now. Lots happening today. Well, good morning. 
the sun is out uh, and it's going to be out all day and the temperatures are due to be up to 34 degrees so what we thought rather than having father-in-law come up here and it's all expire due to the temperature we would put it off till tomorrow and today I'm just going to do a couple of little fiddly bits there's some bits down there and I want to finish off and maybe do some little bits up here with the patio and then spend most of the afternoon just absorbing the sunshine and doing some lengths in that pool after last week look no coaster today is Bastille Day it is a national French holiday but we are working we are not French I like living in France I don't know what I want to be French distinct difference there. Hmm. anyway today you have brought me a bucket full of a mixture a of, mixture of sand and lime and even though it is a slight breeze I shall be filling in the cracks of the patio you like it when cracks are filled in don't you hell yes they're not actually cracks <laughs> they're, 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 they're just the gaps between the slabs cracks are when you've broken it these are deliberate yeah but thank you for pointing that out <laughs> fill my crack <laughs> after you saw me a few weeks ago trying to point to the patio of the sheet I'll now be doing this simple brushing technique with this some of the cracks are deeper than others some of them are crevasses a filled crack is a happy crack Definitely starting to make some progress on filling in these huge cracks, but I do have a helper. I have my loyal Dachshund who will not leave me alone and will not go in the shade. At the moment, during the daytime, occasionally if we leave the doors open, we've got problems with swallows coming in the house and looking for places to nest. Uh, this is our bathroom. Hello, are you waiting in our bathroom? This is a really, really warm one. So a good few hours later and a good few rest stops. It's all of the cracks are filled. And I've got to say, some of them were pretty, uh, pretty deep. So my next thing is brush everything down lightly and then get the hose on it and get some water in there and hopefully it'll look a little bit better so now that's all brushed in and it's ready for a sprinkling of water and there is another job done in the sweltering heat on a bank holiday and it's a grey overcast day and I'm happy about that because we've got father-in-law coming up and we're going to crack on with the patio today didn't achieve too much yesterday because of the, the extreme heat um, the pool one in the end which is absolutely fine so um, we have yeah. another momentous occasion in the butcher household this morning my parents are coming for lunch today and it's always nice to use some things from the garden. It's that time again. Can you reach into my bush and grab out what you may find? <laughs> what one would you like? That. The big one? Yeah, the big one. Oh my God. No, 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 not him. Not him. This big one here. This, this one? Yeah. Both hands, maybe. Going on and on, doesn't it? <laughs> Girth and lengths. <laughs> Nana and Jin and father in law. Hello. Mella, where are 
Where's Nana? I'm in the greenhouse this morning, just coming to pick some peppers for lunch today. And uh, yeah, everything's looking very green and very bushy. There is a big, oh, there we go. There he is at the bottom. A big pepper. Hello. Clean up any tools, do you? Yeah, but I learn from the best. Well, I clean them off. You don't. You just break them. Anyway, just thought I'd just show you where we're up to. And uh, well, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. So we've done, I think you said almost 80 slabs today, so luckily the weather's been really good for it. And that's an old man. Of, of that's an old man. Of 76. 76? Yeah. My birthday in September. <laughs> right, well. Huh? That's enough for today, I think. I think it's enough for today. We're going home. Hi, Hi and welcome to Wine, Wine of, of the week. week. And today you have selected a white wine from the cellar that I believe that we purchased last year at the wine fair at Migron. We have this. A Cote de Rhone Blanc. And hopefully it will be very nice a year on. Yes. 2020. There you go. So, uh, well, what a week again. Um, it's a quite a big patio trying to lay at the moment. So <laughs> you might see more of it next week. Hopefully you'll see the conclusion of the patio next week. And you also have more aggregates being delivered yeah i've got another delivery coming <laughs> well better under order than over order exactly yeah anyway hope you've enjoyed this week's video thank you for watching if you have enjoyed it please click the thumbs up and give it a like if you've not subscribed please consider doing so it does give us a bit of a helping hand you can also find more information on our website at www.theexpatbutchers.com or Facebook, Instagram or Twitter. Hey! Well, anyway, enough of that. <laughs> Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> mm, smells good. tastes even better but I can say one thing I bet this will taste a lot better around our pool we will see you next week cheers <laughs>